Straight from the heart of East Tennessee, this is 10 News at Noon. Vaccinations are an important part of um, preventative health care because they do a wonderful job at preventing many infectious diseases. Um, they have a long history of safety and effectiveness and have even been shown to completely or nearly eradicate some diseases such as smallpox and polio. I very frequently get questions about the safety of vaccines. Um, some people are very cautious about putting something into their bodies or the bodies of their children. These vaccines have been studied for years and we have millions of cases uh, that we've been able to study, lots of data to support the safety of the ingredients and in the vaccines themselves. For children, we have a wide variety of vaccines um, that thankfully cover everything from um, chickenpox to measles to tetanus and whooping cough, uh, along with a host of others. So um, modern medicine has given us a great um, variety of the diseases that we can protect our children from. We have a recommended vaccine schedule to help keep all, uh, children all the way from infants all the way up to preschoolers and school aged children and teenagers. Um, there is a set schedule and at every checkup we look to see what a child might be eligible for um, and keep that track keep track of that with the families then we are able to provide documentations to daycares preschools and schools typically um, upon entering kindergarten and seventh grade and then as they graduate to college a lot of colleges are also requiring vaccine records so we work together as a team to make sure that everyone is up to date on their schedule so back to school time is a great time to check in with your pediatrician or your family doctor and see if your child is up to date. We will be happy to look over the schedule and print out the documentation that you need for the school. Um, this kind of gives a fresh start to the whole year and making sure that everyone's on the same page to keep the kids safe during the school year. Right now, the biggest topic that we're having regarding vaccination is, of course, with the COVID-19 vaccine. Um, this is now approved for ages 12 and up. So that is something as a pediatrician that I'm talking about with my patients. If you are considering getting the COVID-19 vaccine for your child, reach out to their pediatrician or family doctor and ask if that's available in their office and have the discussion about whether that's a good idea for your child. I'm a mom of four myself and vaccines are an important part of keeping my family healthy. So please, as we head back to school, talk to your doctor, uh, reach out and consider vaccinating your children.